All right, on today's video, do you have some DVDs laying around? Do you have a DVD player? You got a computer? I'm gonna show you how you can take that DVD, take it to a digital file, and use it in Plex, Jellyfin, MB, or just play it on your computer. Y'all stay with me. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Let's get to it. So, back in the day, everybody had DVDs. You know, before that we had VHS tapes and before that we went outside and played. Today it's all about streaming or having your own Plex server, your own Jellyfin server, your MB server, um, any kind of streaming device or watching it on a computer, tablet, phone, so that's what we do. We got a lot of streaming services. We don't actually have cable TV anymore. And if nothing's on, you know, if we keep flipping through the, the streaming stations or the whatever, and there's nothing on, we'll switch over to the Plex server. And uh, I have ripped all of our DVDs and uh, some of the VHS tapes, which was really hard, over to the Plex server, I've made digital files out of them, and uh, it works great. All the TVs have Roku's, and you know, Apple TVs, Fire Sticks, anything will play a Plex or uh, any kind of those services. But um, I'm gonna show you today how easy it is, and it's free, by the way, as long as you got a computer and a um, inexpensive CD drive or DVD drive, rather. This one's like $24. And I'll put a link to it. It's, it's actually a rewritable disc, too. I know nobody uses DVDs anymore, hardly. But um, it's good to keep one around. So let's get to it here. Switch down to my screen. And what we're going to do, I'm going to take you to a website. Um, Make MKV. So you can do this with Blu-ray disc or DVD disc. As long as you have a drive. Now, yeah, if you have Blu-rays, you got to have a Blu-ray player. So this is this will be there'll be links to this in the description. But you download this application. Now it works for Windows or Mac. Today we're on Windows. It works just as good on Mac. So we're going to download this. I've already done it, and it comes into a little uh, setup package. And when you get done, you have an application that looks just like this. And as you can see, there's no drive in there. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to plug this up to my USB port. And we may have to restart the application so to pick up the drive. Let's do that. We'll do that and we'll come back here and run it again. There's my drive. Okay, this, um, when you run this, it will take all of the video files off the DVD. Take all the files off the DVD and create MKV files. And I'll put a link to what an MKV file is. I can't remember what it actually stands for on my head right now. But So this is all we're going to do. Put the DVD in the drive. Close the lid. And it will read it. And I've done this with like 200 discs that we had. So. But you can find these DVDs on eBay or Amazon. Like if you get a gift card from Amazon, you can get them pretty cheap. Like this is a whole season of Big Bang. And um, I mean, it. I think it was $8 for the whole season. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to click on the drive. Now that it's read it. And it will start reading it and getting ready to make the file. So I'll just spin you on through this. I'll tell you how long it takes too. Okay. So here we have it. It took about a minute and a half to do that part. So what we're going to do, we're going to make the MKV. 
So we'll see what this comes up with. We we'll hit MKV. Uh, yes, I want to create it. Now it's going to create the file. It is 12.43 p.m. Let's see how long it takes. All right, it took 43 minutes to do 14 episodes that are, what, 30 minutes a piece. So if I go to the drive now, get on my big drive here. It, it pulled them out at 500, 575 or so on average megabytes per episode all I have to do now is rename them I'm gonna rename them off camera and be right back all right so all the files for Plex that I found need to be named in a folder the name with the season number and episode number this has worked out well for me uh, I am running it off of Synology so and there are two discs on this season. There's 26 episodes, but I'm going to show you this. So all I'm going to do now is just copy these. And I'm, add them. I'm going to add them to my, my Plex library. Okay, now there's, there's half the uh, DVDs right there. And now we can watch it on our Plex instance. It'll be just fine. So when we don't have anything to watch, we can do that. So there you have it. Now, as far as I know, it's legal as long as it's for your own consumption in your on your own home or whatever. Now, if you start broadcasting it in a theater or selling it or bootleg copying it out to it in a flea market, you're going to get in trouble. But um, as far as I know, having your own DVR for your own personal where you're not sharing it with anybody, I, as far as I can tell, you're okay. So I could be wrong. And, I hope not, but so anyway, I hope y'all get something out of this video. Um, got any questions? Leave them down there in the comments. I answer all of them, and I, if I can't find an answer, I'll find somebody that can answer it. Maybe. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. And I uh, hope to put out some more content this weekend. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're having a good week. And like I always say, until the next video. Thanks for watching.